What do you, what do you think happened? I have a father that is missing since 1988 on Father's Day. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people go missing. People like Natalie's father. The police told us uh, the only thing we can do is uh, report him missing. I was so upset. There aren't enough resources for the police to find everyone. So people like Natalie are left to search for their missing people on their own. But now a group called Trace Labs brings together hackers from around the world to use their skills to find real missing people. They've turned it into a game where participants find clues in exchange for points. And it's working to help find them. One night, my best friend called me and said, Hey, Nally, did you hear about uh, Trace Lab? They look for a missing person. It's hackers. I said, what? So I wrote an email to uh, Robert Sells. I said, uh, can you help me? And he said, yes. I think because I'm in search and rescue, I get to see things that most people don't. I get to see all the people that go missing. And as I was paying attention to that, I noticed that there's a lot of people that go missing that, that we never look for. I always wondered who's looking for those people if I'm not. And sometimes, sometimes nobody. The person behind Trace Labs is Rob Sell. He's a tracker for search and rescue and a computer security professional. Trace Labs became really a blending of those two passions. As a tracker, Rob looks for little clues and details that paint a bigger picture about a person's direction of travel, their speed, or state of mind. Trace Labs takes the same approach to online searching. Finding little details about a person's online activity can add up and help lead investigators to their current location. We're addressing all those people that go missing that nobody's looking for right now. Rob started Trace Labs as a way to educate people and get them involved in the process of open source intelligence gathering, or OSINT. When you go to a typical conference, uh, security conference, there's so many different things you can do. You can learn how to hack a car, how to hack a voting machine. Whatever you want to do is there. Yet that effort is wasted in a way because it's not used for anything else. What we do is we take all that effort and we put it into something that's actually going to benefit society. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Not bad. Chris. Rob Sell. Nice to meet you, Chris. Rob organizes events like this Capture the Flag game, where participants use OSINT techniques to collect data that could be used to help find missing people. So open source intelligence, it's information that you would find online on the subject. As participants gather useful information, they're awarded points towards winning prizes. Even seemingly trivial data can be important in tracking someone down. Quite often we'll see a person will get put into human trafficking. So we'll look for their picture because usually we can see their tattoo or some sort of sign on their body where we can identify them. Contestants that come in will say, wait a minute, are these real missing people? And you can see their mind change. It's like, wow we're actually changing people's lives. For this event, Rob has brought together numerous hackers and security professionals, all working to find whatever data they can about these missing people. We collect information on those missing persons and then give that to law enforcement to help them to locate those missing persons. Natalie's father is listed among several other missing people the contestants are looking for. He's been missing for over 30 years. So those are going to be tough, and you may get very little information on them at the end of the day, but I think any little bit that we get that we can submit to law enforcement could help. So when you think of your digital footprint being out there, there's a concern there sometimes, but in this case, we're using it to actually locate those people. So the more we have of you digitally, the, the better off we are in some ways, right? People are actually helping out yeah. while they're having fun, right? Yeah. Although it's a serious issue, but it's a great initiative. Yeah. In the years since Rob started Trace Labs, they've provided law enforcement with data on dozens of cases, even information about the current whereabouts of people. What these people here are doing today is really helping law enforcement to locate those people. And that's something the families can really appreciate. After two days, the team finds no new information on Natalie's father. But groups like Trace Labs mean you don't have to search on your own. 
He's still listed, and contestants are still looking for any data they can find. Sharing that burden, for even a day or two, can make all the difference in the world. We've gamified something very serious, which on the face of it doesn't sound good, but it was the only way for us to achieve our objective of crowdsourcing hundreds of people and bringing them in for that focused effort to locate that child or, or elderly person or whoever it might be. Anywhere I can push that envelope and allow us to do better, I feel pretty good about that. So hopefully this inspires people to, to do that. Just to know that Trace Lab, stranger, they would uh, do uh, research for my, my father, I was touched. I don't think I'm gonna stop looking for him. I will never stop. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to Freethink for more great videos every week.